Okay, so I'm going to jump to the last paragraph of chapter one, right? So, so, um, and then this is going to where he's going to summarize what this chapter one is about, and then we'll go back and and and, and go through each one separately. You'll see. So basically, he's saying like this: Nimtza. That's the last last three lines. Nimtza. We okay. We we would therefore find klal hayediyos hasharoshiyos that the general root kind of knowledges, knowledge things that you need to know, ha'ela, these are sheish, there are six. In other words, there are six things that that we need to know about the Creator. That's what this chapter is about, mm -hmm. the nature of God, what we do know and what we do not know about God. And there are six things that we need to know about God. Vehein, and they are. Amitas mitziyusoy, the truth of His existence, meaning the fact that He exists. That's the first thing. We've got to believe and know in that His existence is, is real. Is Baruch Shemoy, blessed be His name. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. And we, that's, that's the one that we mentioned last time. The next one is called Shlei Muto. Shlei. Right? We need to know that he is, his perfection, about His perfection. Right? He is perfect. He's complete. The next one, that's number two. Number three, Hechreach Himotsoi. Ha, 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 that His existence is imperative. Okay, okay. Mukhrach means something that must be. So hechrach hematzoy that means his the must be in the must beingness of his existence. Okay, so, uh, it's, it's too uh, it's too it's too much. Like, uh, <laughs> so heyois the next one is heyois. So, so that was so far. How many do we have? So his existence, right. his perfection, his the imperativeness of his existence. Mm -hmm. Next, Hayoiso built in Nitla Bezugosoi, that his existence is not dependent on anything or any being outside of his existence. Okay, so they translate this as absolute independence, mm -hmm. but in, in Hebrew, the literal translation is built in Nitla Bezugosoi, that he's not dependent on anything outside of him. Okay, that's number four. Number five, Pshitusoi, his simplicity. Okay. Pashut, right? Mm -hmm. Pshit, and his oneness. His oneness, which is really, they, his translation is more accurate than what I said. It's Yehudoi really means his unity. But it's the same thing. Unity comes from the word unit. First and right? short, it's very, very U, U, similar. Unit. Fact uh, of his existence and necessity of his existence. It's very no. it's similar. Well, okay, okay so we'll, we'll go back through, we'll, we'll drill down through each one separately, but I just want you to know that these are the six things that, that the Ramchal summarizes that you need to know about God. These are the six things that you need to know about God, right? Again, that He exists, that's the first one, that He exists, that He is perfect, that He is, His existence is necessary, or it has to be, it must be, it's, it's imperative. That's the third one. That's the third one, that He's... It, existence is not dependent on anybody else and that he is simple and that he is you, you, one unit right so far so good yeah. anything here that in this list that you feel is missing that he is so far it's just the existence and his presence right He's powerful, yeah. he's powerful, he's all right. right, so his, his omnipotence right. exactly. is not here, right? His not, omnipotence is not here. His infinity right. is not here. Mm. What? Absolute independence, means he's not outside. Also, also recently I read the Midrash about Abraham, and he conclude, his conclusion is that he is invisible, he is. He not don't have body. He's not physical. Right. Yeah. He's not corporeal. That's the same. That's also not visible. Not uh, physical. Right. So none of but these no, things are you, here. So he only maybe brings you may, maybe these you six, know more six about things. This right. So we. So so I don't know if this list is complete. A eh? or maybe, which is the more likely scenario, is that these six things include in them the, the, the other things. Okay, so now, now that we got the picture at least, now we know what 
the total looks like. Let's see what it looks like I don't see in the detail. He is uh, invisible. You could see from the six that he is invisible. I don't know. I don't know. And not, and not material. Right. Well, again, so we shall see. Let's see. Well, the, I mean, this that is, we say he's invisible and he's not material. I'm assuming those two things are the same. But it's few more stuff. He's uh, not uh, out of time. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that are not. Here. No, from uh, no, from uh, just yeah. from midrash. But all of those Aura things are, are, are he's, not. Uh, he's, right. uh, he's, uh, he's he don't exist. Uh, not don't exist. Not time bound. Ta right. Not yet. Yeah, not time bound. Not physical. Yeah. Right, but these are all the same else. things. These are all the same things, I presume. Okay, so let's see. So we are up to in our official lo learning. So that we covered the first two of this statement. But I just want to point out one thing. Just again, just to appreciate his structure. So the first, so now I'm going back to the beginning of the chapter. All right, so the beginning of the chapter, the first one said that we know that there is this Motsu Rishon Kadmo in Venitzchi. So now let's go. I mean, well, maybe we should go we back supposed, what and we're read. Supposed to know. Right. Let's go back to the, to the beginning and maybe read actually from from the start. Now that we saw the end, the whole picture. Now let's Aleph. see. Let's see from the start. So call Ishmi Israel. Call Ishmi Every Israel. Jewish man. Sorech Shiyamin Vyeda. Need to to believe and to know. Shiyesh Shom Motsu Rishon that there is a first being. Okay, so there is there is a first being, Kadmoin Venitzchi. So he is infinite. He has no beginning. Kadmoin means he has no beginning. Venitzchi means that he has no end. So now we see right away. So that God's infinity is included in the very nature of his existence. That's bizarre. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know that he, ex he exists, and now also you know you need to know that he created and continues to create everything that exists in Mitzvahs, and this this being we call the Hu Lakad Baruch This is God. This being is God. So the very nature, the very very basic nature of God, is an infinite creator. That's infinite creator is already included in the first thing. Good. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Further, you need to know. That's the second thing. That this being that the essence, the true nature, amita, amitas means the, from the word emes, right? Amitas mitziyuso that the true nature of his existence. Um, musegas zulos is not grasped by anything outside of him at all. Right? So anything that's outside of God cannot grasp the essence of God. So this is the second thing that we need to know. Is that, where is that? Where is that on the list of six things that we just saw? Second. What? Second. So on the, it's base. It's, it's base. It's second, right? So where yeah. is it? But where is it in the list at the end that we just read? What was the second thing on that list? No, his Shlei Musoy, his perfection. Right, so so you have to understand the introduction to us knowing regarding God's perfection is that we cannot know His perfection. Okay, that's really the point. Right, we know we know. Okay, let's see, let's see a little more. We're the boy, and so the only thing we do know, Shehu Motsu Sholim, that He is a perfect being, Bechol Mine Shlemus, Shlemus, and all types of perfection. And there is no lacking in him, right? There's no lacking to be found in him. So we really, so it's a contradiction in terms in a way. We know that he is perfect, but we are not able to know what that perfection is like because his perfections is part of his essence. And his essence is not something that we can know. So, so he's telling us there's something about God's perfection we just know that there is a vague, we have a vague uh, appreciation that this God is perfect, but we have no real understanding of what this perfection means. Because, not because we have no way of understanding that, that perfection. Our understanding is right. not enough. 
right? Ve'ulam, however, dvorim elu yadan b'kabalah, we learned this through tradition, min ha'ovais, from our forefathers, min ha'nevim, and from our prophets, v'hisigum kol Yisroel b'maymad har Sinai, and all of this Jews were able to appreciate during during our standing at Har Sinai, the Omdu al Amitosam Beverur, and they appreciated this truth and with clarity. Again, which truth? Which words? What is he referring to? Is he referring to Aleph? Or is he I mean is he referring to Bayes, which is because we're found we're, or he's going back to Aleph again? So, I, I, to me, it feels like he's, he's, he's going back to Aleph. Because what did we appreciate at the Harsi name? Well, for one thing, we appreciate God exists, because here he is talking to us, right? This is, uh, this is revelation. revelation, public revelation that we all speak about. So, so now he's... So, it's, it's a little um, fluid, this, this Aleph base stuff. Okay, so... Um, so let's see a little more. And after Har Sinai, it was taught to us generation after generation. To this day, that this is what Moses um, was commanded from the, the mouth of, of God. Right? That you cannot forget what you saw with your own eyes. Okay? So what did we see with our own eyes? We saw God's perfection with our own eyes? Probably, I assume we not. We Did we see God's perfection with our own eyes? Or we saw that He exists? It's a revelation. It's a revelation, yeah? Right. That uh, what oh. we could, we could see. Right, so we what, saw... Uh, what, right, so, so what we could see. So if you and say... And we understood right. that there is uh, something behind. Right, so if it goes to Aleph, if this statement is really going back no, to Aleph, no, base. that, that no, so base. the revelation was that God exists. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If it goes back to Bayes, then the revelation of Harasina was more than just we saw that God is, is a real entity. The we revelation was we actually appreciated we the nature of God as, as much close. as possible. Right. come as close, as close to Him as, as possible. Is. As, as possible, as possible. That, right. uh, we see as Correct. much as we could. Right, right. That's so that again, perfect, exactly. Good. Amnam, however, gam mitzad achakira b'moivsim halimudim. So even using kind of analytic logic, yom sukol ha inyonim ha'ela, we can come to the truth of the of these things. V'yuchach heyoisum kein mikoyach hanimtzoisum asigayim. And we can prove this to be true just from what we observe in what Hanimtois, what exists, which we see with our own eyes, Alpichochmasateva, using uh, the wisdom of nature, Hahandosa, mathematics, Utkuna, physics, or the other way around, physics and mathematics. Okay, Ushar Hachochmas and other wisdoms. Shemehem Tilakachna. We're going to take borrow from them certain prerequisites, true prerequisites. I'll show you volid mehen, and from there we will, we will, we will, they will get kind of, they will give birth to the truth of these things. Okay, but Amnam Loy Narihata Beze, we're not gonna to spend too much time on this now. Ella Natsiya Hagdomis Lamita Munasadar Hadvorim Alburium, which is gonna present these things in a true fashion, okay, in a clear form. Kifi Masurah should be a day mostly relying on our tradition, but I'm a fursum bachol umasenu and things that are already well known amongst our nation. Good? Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not so comfortable still for some reason, but what am I not comfortable about? No, it does talk about perfection. What? It does talk about perfection. Right, only in as but, much that we need to we have a vague understanding of his perfection, but, but not but knowledge I, of it. What I think was yeah. talking about is actually set in shrine. Because it's just very much. Let's remember what song was the sea, like why Hashem allowed Jewish people to think the song are not angels. But that moment is actually understood. Everything that happened until now, it was for good. So right. 
full picture of the perfection that you know, slavery is bad. But they finally listened, that actually that bad actually was good. Right. And yeah. just You're right. The, as you can see, Mitzrayim was a revelation. Yeah. And all the texts that reminds you we a lot about the Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim, Pesach, and everything. Because all our mitzvahs, they always get it. That's Mitzrayim, that's Mitzrayim. Right. That but I would say, a moment but I would say that, I would say that, I think he's saying is, um, I mean, true. I mean, true. That's part of what he's saying, Nivim. But it, at the full culmination of all those lessons, right? The, the full culmination of all those lessons are happened at Har Sinai. Kind of Har Sinai was the time when we already picked up all of those lessons, and then we stood by Har Sinai and then saw the relation that all put it put it together. But even before he's saying, we learned this not only from Har Sinai, we also learned from tradition from our forefathers because they had certain lessons that they picked up and they transferred it to us, and from Nevi'im, so meaning from other places in, you know, Ishayohu and Eliyahu and all of those, Nevi'im also taught us things about the nature of God, right? Yeah. But, so whatever, again, I'm not, what bothers me, what bothers me here is that he calls all of these things, he calls them these things. Right? What what these things is he referring to? If right, he's just referring to just base, just God's perfection, so he just should say this thing, God's perfection, this vague notion of God's perfection. These yeah. things is, what, sounds like a more general. Yeah, that doesn't uh, make me think about it as a child. Mark us everything that you saw, you saw, you saw. Right. And now you understood why it had to be done. So you got it for, uh, now you understood the perfection. That doesn't look so bad for you. Now you understand it was perfect. All right. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see. We'll leave it as a question for now. Okay. So, Gimel, what's the third thing? What's the th third thing? So, the third thing goes to a question: Can God commit suicide? I guess. <laughs> or de or deicide. De deicide. 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 Yes. Can God commit deicide? So. And if so, does that, you know, okay, so that's again, we don't fully know this, that's, I guess that relates to this base, that we don't fully know God so well, but you do need to know, that this being, blessed be his name, he named Mitziusoi, his existence, Mitziyus Muchrach, is an imperative existence. She Efshar He Odre Klau, his, the possibility of his non-existence is not possible. His non-existence is not possible. E. F. Shar. It's impossible, hey, Odroi, of his non-existence at all. It's not possible at all for God not to exist. Ah, that, this is out of time, infinite. Mm -hmm. um, well, infinite, like he already Abraham, said before. Like infinite already like he, Abraham said. All right, infinite, he already said before, but it's it's included in this also possibly. I don't know. Again, I don't know what time is, so I can't say. Okay, down it. Let's keep going. Dalit. Oitzarich Shiyeh, that the next thing you need to know, Shemitziyusoy is Borach Shmoy, that his existence, blessed be his name, Enoi Toluy Vizulosoy Klau, is not dependent on anything outside of him, Elami Atzmoy, rather from his own being, who Muchrech Hamitzius. His existence is imperative. So, this, so, so Dalit. Seems like a clear expansion of, of Gimel, Gimel right. right? That that I mean, once you say that God is infinite, right, and His existence is imperative, then it's clear to me. It should be clear to, again to my mind that nothing else can cause His existence. He's not dependent on anything. Right, 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 right. So I. I don't know. I, I don't know why no, you he's need. Not, he's not Dalit. bound by time. He's not bound by time. He's not bound by anything. And also by time. That okay, by anything. No, no, no pre-existence. Right, but that was again. So I don't know why you need Dalit. I don't know why Dalit needs to be a separate, a separate line. entry into the things that I need to know about God. Ah, because uh, because Abraham, he saw son. Oh. Sun, the rule of the world, the world, and of course, sun go down and moon 
Right, but that's but that's included. He see, I think it's uh, he see it's but once just you know temporary. that God's existence is just is, temporary. I, I hear you, but I no, I think that's included. Be, the point maybe his cause and effect situation, like uh, like his. Uh, Let me think about that one second. Hold on, maybe no, his cause and effect. Nobody calls him. No, no, no. The first statement. Он говорит, что есть, он разделяет все на разные вещи. То есть вещи, которые влияют на что-то, есть вещи, из-за чего это произошло. Здесь он первая причина. Первая причина. Нет, он не закон, он I'm still not clear, but he's the first yeah, cause. Yeah. That's that's what you're saying is true. He is the first cause. First cause. So the, and he has no other cause. So Dalit again, Dalit would imply that there is another cause, and this should be already is included a in Aleph. He's the first cause, and right. it's really included in Gimel that well, his existence. So I'm not sure. I'm not so sure why you need else. Dalit as a separate thing. Again, I haven't picked up more Nevuchim in a really long time, but more Nevuchim does deal with 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 these questions. So, um, okay, so let's leave again. Let's leave it for now. Let's keep going. Now, hey, f f the fifth thing. And you also need to know that God's existence is Baruch Shmoy Mitsuyus Poshut. It is a simple existence. Okay? Bli Harkova. That means without compound, meaning he has not, he's not a compound element. I mean, he's not an entity. He's not a compound. He's uh, an element. I don't know how to say it, but he's an element. I mean, he's not a con right? He's not a, a no. combination of different right. things. He's he is one a, completely element. simple, unified Look, we existence. We can't analyze. We, no way to analyze. That's not what it says. It says Poshut. He is no, poshut. simple you can't existence. Analyze it. No, it just means it's a it's simple existence. Bli Harkova means Harkova means when you when you b bring two things together, that's called Harkova. Veribui klal, or there is multiplicity to him. There is no multiplicity to him. Vechol ashleimus, and all of his perfections that we discussed in number two, right? Kulom nimtsoyim boy b'derech posha. They are all found in him in one simple unity. Perush. What does that mean? It's an explanation. Kihine. Because so he's going to contrast this. But nefesh in our in human soul, in a human brain soul, rabim shoinim. There are many different faculties, right? Shekol echad mehem Each one has its own limitation or its own uh, border. Okay, he says area of activity in translation. But each its own gather. Gather means its own fence. Okay. Derech Moshe. So, for example, Hazikorin. So there is with the power of memory, Koyach Echod. That's one faculty that we have. Veharotzo in our will, Koyach Acher is another faculty. Okay. Vehadim Yoin and our imagination, Koyach Acher is another faculty. Veein Echod Meela Nichnas Begeder Chaveri Klal. And each one of these does not enter into the territory of the other. Okay, let's Why? process this for a second. Okay. So I have memory, I have imagination, and I have my will. Memory, imagination, and will. Or memory, will, mm -hmm. and imagination. My will enters into all the other. Function. What? My will enters in all the other. Imagination. Different, <laughs> different uh, functions. Right. So I want coffee. Right. right? Does that have, right? Rotson. My Rotson. Right. I mean, it could be then my will triggers memory because I've had I've had before, coffee before, no, and it's a separate function. right. So there's there's my my yeah. memory, and then my memory perhaps triggers my imagination because coffee I f associate with I don't know a, f a fine coffee shop somewhere in it's not, it's in, pa in Paris. Okay, so. There is my will that triggers my memory, that triggers my imagination. 
right? But he doesn't, it's interesting that he doesn't put will first. He starts with memory, then then will, yeah. then imagination. I don't know why he does it in that order. But basically, what he is trying to say yeah. on the basic level, just basic understanding, mm -hmm. that we consider those three things independent functions of, of our brain, okay? And, um, and they, they're each turned on and off at, at different times, independent times. So, so the territory of memory is one territory, and the territory of will is another territory. So all our faculties are independent. However, the master, the master, I don't know why again, why he calls him the master here, but the master, blessed be his name, Einenu Bal Koichis Shoinim, he's not a master of various faculties. Afalpi Shibbe Emes, even though in truth, Yesh Boy in Yonim Shibonu Heim Shoinim, even though he possesses things that in us they are different faculties. Right? Because we would say he has will. And we say he has wisdom. And he has ability. And he is perfect in all sorts of perfection. Amnam, however, Amitas Mitsuyusoi, who inyan echad, the truth of his essence is one entity. Shikoilel beamitasoi ugdeiroi that he includes in his essence, perush, amita sinyonoi, the, the true, truth of his nature, ki ein shayach gedder boys, because you can't even use the word gedder when it comes to God. Gedder means territory, right? There's no kind of limitation that you could use. Elal tzad heter aloshim, we only use it as a borrowed term. Kol ma shehu shleimus. So his essence includes all types of perfection. Yeah? Does that make any sense? I am surprised with his language. His essence includes all of perfection. Let's so, finish. Uh, I would say I have a hand and I have a mouse. Hand a different function. My hand has right. function and my mouse has you, you function. Were saying you, we want to use, you want why, to use, why, why is he why using he, internal? He uses, Very good question. Um, Excellent question. Why is he using I'm internal? Qualities, At characteristics, would, as opposed to just uh, simply use yeah, external, yeah, yeah. which is clearly divided. Why using things yeah. that potentially can be yeah. interconnected? Hand and foot, let's say, yeah. different function. That's it. Right, All right. But I mean, I'm assuming. So the, I think the answer is in the question. Really, I think the answer is in the question because he's saying he wants to use our our intellectual mental, ability, mental which is abilities. has a certain sense of unity, very similar. God-like God unity, and then still within that one God-like unity, we can still delineate different functions, which is different from God. So he wants to show you how by us, even within our unified intellect, we have different functions, and by God, within unified. that unity, it's still completely unified. It's, it does not, it's, not, it's not divisible into different functions. Okay, but it's a beautiful point. So let's just finish up. So we find that God possesses all perfections. It's not something that is additional to his essence. This is the key point. Okay, by us, again, there is me, the person, and let's say I possess extraordinary memory. So there is me, the per person, and then I have happen to have a quality that I possess, which is my extraordinary memory, which maybe is different from me. By God, that's not the case. Everything that he possesses is part of his very essence, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we don't say that there's something is added to his mahusoy, to his essence, by amitas inyonoi, el amitzad amitas inyonoi be'atzmoi. Rather, everything comes from the very na essence, essential nature of his, that he includes in his essence kol hashlemus all sorts of perfection. Because it is impossible uh, for this thing, for for um, sorry, let me just check how he says it. 
Okay, she has Shalina who may build the call her Shlemus, all sorts of perfection, mitzad atzmoy from his very nature. Okay, so again, we just again, so this I think this I think would be a good proof that when he was talking about bays, he was talking about everything that follows, not just not just bays. Um, Okay, that's number one. Number two. So, okay, let's let's keep going. I don't want to see. I want to see a little more. Vehine beemes and behold in truth, haderech hazer rochuk me oid me hasagasein vitzireinu. There he goes. Right, this thing is very distant from our ability to grasp vitzireinu and our ability to imagine. Uh, L A B C. Yeah, A B C is very distance. Or only. No, I think it is. Now I think he's talking D. about D. Hey, five actually. Hey, five. Five really is five. very distant. Very from distant. Us. Right. Ain lonu umilos we, we we almost don't have a way to express it or words to explain it. Ki ain tsiureinu because our. The ability to picture something, vidim yonisenu, in our imagination, toifsim, they can only grasp, aleinyonim mugbolim, only things that are limited. Okay? Begvul hateva, within the limit of nature. Hanivra mimenu izborach, which was created from him, let's be his name. Shezema shechusheinu margishim, because this is what our senses sense, umivim and bring its picture to our mind right again this is a beautiful beautiful language and we have to keep that in mind all the time that whatever knowledge we possess we possess through sense experience right everything that we picture here had to have come in from the outside world via one of our senses okay right so therefore, which makes our understanding, knowledge, and you know, wisdom very limited, because everything we can experience, we experience, everything we can understand, we must experience, and everything we experience, we experience through a very limited uh, system. Okay. So therefore, we, we cannot. Therefore, there, therefore, I think. Therefore, yeah. I, I don't know. That's a good question. It doesn't come from outside. Right, so it's Descartes, Descartes, right? Descartes, right. not Pascal? No. Okay. Uh, and so whatever we experience, we experience only cre creations with m many creations and set with separate en en entities and faculties. So we never experience oneness. So therefore, how can we understand it in God? We can't. Okay. Or he doesn't say we can't. I'm not sure. It's not clear. Does that mean we cannot, or it's very difficult for us to understand it? I'm not sure. That is not clear. It says rochok me'oid. It's very distant from our appreciation. But does that mean that we cannot get it at all, or does that mean it's distant? But with a lot of effort, maybe we can figure it out. But to me, that more sounds like like the second part, right? Not like he says before. He says, you have no way, again, base. And number two, he says, you have no way of understanding the, the true nature of God. Right? That was number two. Now, he's using a little more of a different language. He says, we, have, we don't really have words to express it. We don't have, you know, we're not used to this kind of thinking. But it doesn't mean, you know, it's very distant from us. But I think it means that this is still within our grasp. Okay? That God's pshitus, God's simplicity, seems to me, from his language, is within our grasp. Uh -huh. Okay, and finally, finally, number six, the one that maybe I would have put as number two, if you would have asked me, I would have put this in number two. And here the language is also a little bit different. And from what there is to also know, and from what there is to also know, Shahamotsu hazeh that this being is Baruch Shmoy, Mukhrach, it must be Shiyye Echod Veloyoiser, that he has to be one and not more. 
right? Which again, I think number six naturally comes out from three and four. Six. Number six, I, I which could, is God's oneness, uh, naturally could, comes out from could, three uh, and four. It's possible to grasp number six. Six is in our mental abilities. Yes, that's the actually that's it's, the Ramchal I, says. I don't see. So, I don't see so it's how interesting. Could I see that he's one. So Ramchal says in a different book, in a book called Das Tunis, that as a matter of fact, that the only thing that we can have complete, complete, complete knowledge of is God's oneness. And as a matter of fact, he builds his entire avoid the Hashem, and he'll mention, he'll have this here too, in this book a little bit, not as much as Das Tunis, but in this book he'll have it also, that the essence, the central kind of, I would say, backbone of our avoid the Hashem is, know, is to know God's oneness. That is the one thing that, that we can understand. In my in my ment in my uh, within your mental capacity capacity for sure within that's my his main capacity? thesis yes so let's let's finish this paragraph and again what what else there is to know it must be that he is one it doesn't tell you just that he is one it tells you it must be that he is one which i think because it naturally comes from out five. from the previous from, not from, from previous five, five. Uh, from three four and five probably um Perush, meaning she efsher she motsu mitsuim rabbin because it's impossible that there will be found many creations or many beings she mitsuim mukroch miatsmoi whose existence is imperative from their own essence, which is three and four combined. Ella echad bilvad, you can only have one such entity. So it's clear that that, that six comes out from three and four. Bilvad. Only. There can only be one perfect and being whose existence is imperative. Okay? Because if there would be found other such beings, uh, I'm sorry, I read that wrong. But this that we do find other beings, not infinite beings, but that we do find other beings, Lo yimotsu, it's only because they exist, because he brought them, he willed them into existence. Right? So, it, because there can only be one being whose existence is imperative, so anything else that does exist must, be exi must exist because... It mean imperative. Be, be, imperative means has to be no matter what. Um, so, when yimtsoyim... Kulom Tluyim Boy. So all of them, these other creations, are dependent on his existence. Vuloy Mitsuim and they are not existent exist they do not exist by them in and of themselves. Okay? Or they do not have intrinsic existence. Good. So again, there are six things that we need to know. Root, what he calls Yudios Hashiroshiyos, they are the root. Six, the root six, vehein again amitas mitziusoi the fact that he exists shleimusu his perfection hechrech amitzimatzoi his imperative existence he is built in nitle bezudasoi that he is not dependent on anything else pshitusoi veyichudoi his simplicity and his oneness. So again, his omni omnipresence, omni omnipresence is here. Possibly, I think so. Omnip omnipotence is, is missing, strangely. Omnipotence is missing. He, he only brings omnipotence when he discuss, discusses God's simplicity. And as one of his qualities, he says, Hu yachoyl, He is able. That's omnipotence. He is able to do whatever he wants. That's, that's omnipotence. Right, so that sounds to me like omnipotence, right? I mean, God's complete power is just an aspect of His perfection. Once you say that He is perfect, then it seems that omnipotence, according to Ramchal, is an aspect of His perfection. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. Uh, one omnipotence, oneness. Omnipotence is, is is an aspect of his oneness. No, omnipotence. Omnipotence means I don't know all word. strength. All strength. Right. So, is that? 
All right? So again, he clearly says that these six things, according to him, are the six root things that you need to know about well, this God. is name Lamed. Men, names that have Lamed. Names that have Lamed? A, Lo, A, Lo. Right. Elohim, yeah. Him. Right. Means God. is the power. Right. But he didn't mention any, anything of that yet. I mean, he did say Zalaha, this is God. But, but, but again, he, these are the six. Again, I'm not clear right now. I don't have full clarity on this. He tells us that these are the six root things that we need to know about God. What, what don't I know? I don't understand why these are the six root things. I would have maybe had different root things. Like maybe omnipotence would be a root thing. Maybe omnipre omnipresence, that he's in everywhere. I would say maybe that's a root thing. Okay, I don't know if I would have number five, which is that he is not, the, not number five, number four, I think it should be bunched up together with number three, right? So I'm not clear about that. And, and what I'm not clear about, why is God's oneness the last of the six, I would put it, it's number two. A, he exists. Number two, he is one. That's what I would say. No, remember two, three, four, and five is the definition of God, and He is happy to be the only one. Who is God? Somebody who is right, no limit, and only one. Right, right, all right, okay. I can, I can see that because one, like, like we said, oneness comes out from yeah. three and four. Yeah. So you say three and four before, before, before yeah. six because six comes out of three and four. Okay, uh, uh, accept that. Could, could I talk? That's like accept like, that. Uh, Not yet. Not yet. Um, not yet. And the next question I have is, why do I need to know this? Do I really need to know this? He says, these are my, this is Tzorich Shiyeda. All of these things, this I need to know. Why do I need to know? Do I need to know that God's existence is imperative? That he is, must exist? How does this affect my, uh, my avoid the Hashem? How does this affect my coming closer to God, right? If I need to know what God is, meaning this... Right, so let's go back to base for a second just to appreciate it. He told us that there's something, there's really the essence of God is not knowable, right? But at the same time, he's telling us things that we need to know about God, right? That means God wants us to know him, right? And so he, God allowed us to know him in as much as humanly possible, right? And he wants us to reach the limit of our human potential to know this God. Okay? All right? So I can appreciate that. I need to know God as much as possible. Good. But do I... So how do... Why is that important for me to know that God's existence is imperative? Why is that a central thing? Okay, it happens to be his existence is imperative. He's God. You know, he's infinite. I get it. He's, he has to exist. He has no beginning, no end, so because he's infinite. If this, that his existence is imperative, why is that necessary? Or that his existence is pashut, that he's simple. Why is, that, why is that an important element? Why is that an important element? I mean, yeah, I understand what, maybe, uh, yeah, what, if I'm studying what, Kabbalah, what, what maybe I have a problem. Right? Kabbalah, they say God has... I don't forget Kabbalah. I don't have to bring Kabbalah. Kabbalah into it. Maybe... I can understand that we always talk about God's qualities. We say God is kind, yeah. God is strong, right? God yeah, is, uh, right? Right. So we have to make sure that we understand that we cannot separate those qualities into, you know, separate faculties when we're talking about God, because that would be fear. That would be, um, not fear, that would be, um, that would be close to avoid desire. That would, meaning that would be limiting. We we have no right, in our understanding of God, we have no right to limit Him to a finite being. Again, why does it not? Okay, I, mean, I don't know. We have to think about that. Why not? But we have no right to limit God to a finite being. Well, I mean that's understandable. Why not? But we have no right to limit God to a finite being. So even a great quality like wow, He is so kind. If we think that that quality is referring to A, to his essence, and B, it's a separate faculty within, within his essence, that would be uh, 
an insult to the to the infinite. It would be a downgrade mm -hmm. to the infinity of God. That would be boxing him in what, into what? a limitation. If we would say that God is kind. If we would say that God is kind, if we think that we are referring to his very essence, that would be a problem. Right? So that's why it's important for us to know that A, that all the perfections that he has, we don't really fully understand how that works for him. Even though kindness is an element of perfection, we don't know how that expresses it, itself in him. I mean, we only know how it expresses itself towards us, but we don't know how it originates in him. And finally, we don't look at it as a separate quality within God. It's, it's part of his simple, unchanging essence. Again, it's also change. The lack of change, he did not specify here. I mean, it, it comes out from Pshituso with simplicity also means unchanging. But if he, he is didn't perfect, clearly... why he's supposed to change? Well, it's more complicated than that. So, did God create the world? Yeah. So, before creating the world and he after created the world. He was also perfect. Yeah, but did he know about the existence of, create, of the world before he created the world? If he know the existence of the world? Yeah, did he know about it? No, you say. What? It's, I don't know. He's not limited. He's he's not limited by time. We know step by step what's going on. We see. Right. But he. But is sees there God? Time. Is there God before the creation of the world and God after the creation of the world? No, like movie. We see. I get it. But is there God before creation of Pakadram. the world and after creation of the world? Yeah. No, there isn't. What? There no, is no, no God, God before, before creation, creation of the world and at meaning. The same God before creation of the world is the same God after the creation of the world. Of Without the any change. The same exact. Not just perfection, but the same knowledge, the same. The same. No, that's I watch, want to, that's what I want to say. We, we look at movie, we see step by step, by time. Right. What's going on in this, the context of movie. God, he, he, doesn't, uh, he doesn't bind by time. Okay. He knows already everything. Okay. But there was a beginning. It doesn't it, it's it's not add to him anything because he he knew already Okay, so again the things, end of the things time. we don't really understand. In the beginning of the, of right. the end okay. of the time. So he things knew we don't already. really understand. But for some reason we need to know this. So okay, let's we're gonna stop here and then we'll we'll have a, yeah, that's a good place to stop.